Hey guys, my name is Thais, and currently on the channel we're doing organizational things. Um, I got new glasses, I'm getting used to them. I don't like them as much as I did when I put them on before, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, this is the mess that I need to tackle. Um, I'm really overwhelmed, there's a lot in here years and years of things and i have a hoarding problem and i have a problem of letting go of things so i have like 10 year old 12 year old clothes in there so um clothes from when my house burned down in like 2010 so yeah it's 2022 so yeah 12 year old clothes in here um i think i also have a hoarding problem because of the fact that my house burned down I like having collections of things, even though it doesn't make any sense. Um, I can't let go of things. Um, so it makes sense because I got everything I had taken away from me. So I just have to, I just have to just do it. I was thinking the first thing I should do is go through these purses because um, I have a lot more here. I saw I have some here. I have some in the closet. I have some over there in that corner. Um, I also have an entire uh, dresser. I mean, um, what's it called? Um, it's like a trunk. It's full of purses as well. And then I also have a box full of purses. So I was thinking I could do like a purse collection and show you guys and also see what purses that I have try to let go of some it's gonna be really hard um i have an attachment to basically everything i have um and i also do use the purses that i have downstairs i just switch them out with the ones up here so it's gonna be really hard like how can i just get rid of all these cuties and the reason why i have to get rid of some things is because um i don't have space for them in the place that i'm going to my fiance's house which will be our house i don't have a lot of space like i do here at this house like i have this closet which is overflowing but i also have um an entire other wardrobe downstairs because like you, you switch wardrobes here in connecticut we go through all of the four seasons so i have to switch wardrobes really often like every four months um i switch a lot of things so it's kind of difficult uh to downsize even more because it's not just this closet like it's multiple seasons of clothing so i don't know what to do i don't know what to do let's work on the purses i've been putting this off for way too long so let's just get this started this right away i don't even know where i got this but you go to the donate pile it's cute, but it's a little stiff for my liking. Cute though, cute. I don't even, is this even mine? Like, <laughs> this is cute. Crossbody. I don't know, the fact that it's crossbody like wins for me, even though it's like kind of dirty. Really dirty, actually. Uh, okay, okay. Because it's really dirty and like the fact that I'm not willing to spend time cleaning things right now, I can just donate this because I have a lot of crossbody bags. This is really cute though, so it'll make someone happy. This one a must. Must go. Must stay. Must go with me. This one's another must. I'm thinking I'm going to make a specific spot for festival bags this would be one of them super super convenient like festival camping skate bags super easy this one has to stay such a cute bag like are you kidding me has to stay this one see the thing is like you guys may think this is like ugly so i turned off my humidifier because i feel like let's see yeah so going back at the footage the <laughs> humidifier was really loud but let's keep going um this is really cute and although it is like a single piece of fabric like stitched together 
um i would love bringing this to like a market or like a quick bag i don't know i just can't part with it and also the best thing about having a million bags is the fact that you find treasure in all of them here is caramel chocolate and see it's a good thing i checked because i need to wash this this is another good thing about having cloth bags you can just throw them in the wash tampon which i don't even use tampons anymore so it's kind of funny okay and this one one of my most used dark becoming Bag's so cute. This belt. See, the thing is, I don't really use belts because I don't use pants that compress me. Um, I use literally these. Um, or pajama or sweatpants. <laughs> Those are literally the pants I use. Or skirts or dresses, but nothing that compresses. I own one pair of jeans, and that's because some outfits need jeans, so I own one pair. With that being said, do I need this belt? Because I have some back there. Um, I don't really want to think about that right now. I don't know if I do need it, but I don't really want to get rid of it. I like this gold detailing. It's a super simple belt, so that's nice. Some of the ones back there are kind of like extravagant. This one's like, yeah, I think I'll keep it. Yeah. If I remove it, um, it's going to be later. I'll deal, about, deal with that. This. Necessary for festivals. Um, definitely. Because I'm going to be skating a lot this summer. So these are going to be great for that. I just don't want them like messed up like this at the new place. I want to have a specific spot for them. This hat, I'm gonna give away. Not only is it dirty, but it's silk. Not really my um, style. So that one can be given away. Um, this is my style of hat, even though I use mostly um, bigger hats and not caps like this, but this is cute. And my fiance can use it. This purse, super cute, really good for going out. I like to open them because I usually forget stuff in these things. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to keep this. And it's gold, so that's definitely my style. Let's see, another bag that's kind of like um, cloth bag. Definitely keeping this. This is a free people one, and there's a couple more in here. So this is like the bigger version, and then these are like tiny versions. Um, I'm feeling some goggles in here from swim class because I used to use this for swim class in college. And this, like a dust bag, can be used for multiple things. I just like can't see myself throwing these things out. Another cap. The dispensary gave me this bag, super cute. This is great for winter. Um, let's see what's in here. I say great for winter because of the material. It's like a good winter one. It's a Dollar Tree receipt. Definitely keeping that bag. This backpack, super cute. I had this in high school. For some reason, I thought it was ripped on the bottom, but definitely not ripped. There's nothing in here. This is literally the cutest backpack. Like, what? Perfect. Definitely keeping it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Guys, I love Kipling so much. I have a couple of Kipling bags. Um, I got this as a gift. Yeah, I got it as a gift. I haven't even used it yet. I haven't even used it. But um, I'm about to make this my new purse. <laughs> it's that cute. Like what? Oh my god, me and this bag. 
As you see my smoke bag, like for trips and stuff. This bag is so cute, perfect for festivals. Um, the zipper broke and so I ended up just putting this bottle opener as the <laughs> opener, but this is so cute. You guys can tell I love tassels. Oh my God, I forgot I had this bag. It's in my backpack for Monet. Obsessed. But yeah, definitely keeping this. Like who doesn't need a clear backpack? Another cloth bag. So this is from um, a clothing store here in Bethel where I live and they recycle clothing and fabric and make the purses for when you purchase like they put it in these so this is really cute absolutely love this bag definitely can't throw it out another cute bag something big in here this bag i have to keep another visor stop guys i cannot deal with myself like why do i own this ask me if i'm gonna give it away Aren't visors supposed to be like this though? It's like. Yeah. Another one and another one. Maybe I should like put one inside the other. Another bag, obsessed. There's no way I'm giving this away. Like, this bag is everything to me. I've had it since I was like probably 16 or something. Well, it's empty. So that took forever, but there's one section. Let's go on to um, right behind and we can work on the purses back there. So I've put here my smaller bags. Um, so I showed you before were my medium bags, my medium sized ones. These are my smaller ones and then my larger ones and more medium sized are downstairs like I was telling you guys. Here's some hats. Definitely not getting rid of these, these are all so cute um here's a belt it goes with one of my pants definitely can't get rid of those and also i was looking for those a couple months ago and could not find them so that's annoying okay let me show you guys my favorite bags like are you kidding me right now i spent an arm and a leg on just half of these because they're from free people like i'm pretty sure this one was like a hundred dollars and it's the size of my phone so there's that super dude i would literally lay my life for this bag are you kidding me so definitely keeping that i want to like make a section in a new place for my smaller bags like i have here that way they don't get lost in the bigger bags here's another fave this bag is the cutest little Oh my God, I always bring this to festivals or concerts. It's so cute. Can you guys tell I love tassels? Um, here's me trying to be um, an Insta girl, I guess. I love velvet, and so um, I went onto DHK and bought this velvet Gucci bag. This was 30 bucks, as opposed to what is it like? Three grand, two grand. This is so cute. And the quality is good. I have it stuffed because I don't want it to lose its shape, but I've used it a couple times. It's so cute and the velvet is really soft. Um, and I'm not really like, um, I'm not really the type of person that cares about brands, but for me, it's the color combination of the velvet with the gold and like the way that this curves, it just kind of reminds me of a snake. So, I don't really care about the fact that it's like a fake Gucci. I just care about the fact that it's velvet. You guys know what I'm saying? I just am obsessed with this bag. And then on theme with the fake Gucci is this one. And I got this one also on DHgate. But this one's cute because it's a fanny pack. I needed a black fanny pack. And I liked this one because again of the color with the gold and also because it's chevron like the chevron's pretty cute and it comes with either fanny pack part and also becomes a chain bag so gold with black going with that theme that i like just too perfect but again um i'm 25 i probably got these when i was like 20 i was more into that style I would use this maybe if I went out now, but I don't go, you know, searching for it. But it is a really cute bag. 
Another cutie is this one. Obsessed. Perfect for festivals too. Love. Like, it's just perfect. Just perfect. This one. This red one. I love these type of bags. To be honest, I wish I had more in this style because they're so cute. Um, you've seen them probably in the last, last year or two because they're like back in style. But this one is like an older um, brand. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with this bag. So, so far I think I've gotten rid of three bags. Another one that must stay, must go to my new place is this bag. Um, I got this from Free People. I think I paid like $300 for it. Look at that detailing. I will cry. But I <laughs> have been too afraid to use it because I don't want it to ruin the suede or destroy the material. Like I actually have issues. Never used it. I have problems. This one is from Brazil. Here are my Monet pins. When I used to sell it with the company. Literally obsessed. Obsessed. This is from Brazil. And um, this is one of my favorite bags. This is so great for summer. I think that I have done all the bags. Oh wait, here's another one. This cutie. Definitely keeping. This is great for going out. It's like a little box one. And it opens like that. Like, are you kidding me? It's perfect obsessed here's another bag that i use a lot this black one it's literally the brown version of the one that i have so obsessed and this is the bag that i'm using as my bag now so cute i switched out last night i really like this bag it's called a seat belt bag i really like it because of how different it is and also because of the fact that it's made out of seat belts um, and I like the fact that it like sits like that too, which is really nice and convenient for me to find stuff in here because my bag is usually a black hole. But yeah, so those are all my small bags and my medium sized bags in my room. So let me quickly do a, um, like hot flash of all the bags because I'm thinking of doing a shorter version of this video because some people like a longer version, but some people like the shorter version. I like both sometimes, but sometimes I like one over the other. So I'm gonna give you guys both options. So I'm just gonna quickly flash them here and then also put in another video. Uh, this is the smoking bag I use now. And this is the backpack I used on the plane back from Florida just now. My cousin gave it to me. Definitely need a backpack this size. It's perfect for personal item. So I wouldn't have to pay for carry-on, which is ridiculous, by the way. So those are all the bags that I'm keeping that were already in my room. So now onto the bags that I'm not keeping. This one, it's so cute though. Like I just wish it was my style. I just like would never use this. The other one I'm not keeping, this one. I feel like this is my sister's for some reason. So I'm keeping this one. So these three. Now, let me go downstairs and actually scratch that. Let me put all these bags away first because here's my biggest problem. I always do this thing where I make a pile and then I move on to something else, but I need to work on this pile before I move on to anything else. So I'm going to put away these bags and find a place for these before I move on to anything else. So let me do that. I wish I could reenact for you guys the struggle that I went through to bring this freaking 120 pound box up the stairs. 
But here are some more. Um, based on the size of this box, I know for sure that I can't keep everything in here. Because, oh look at that, some of it's already molding. Um, so, like I said, this is way too many bags, I don't need this many. Am I going to be able to get rid of all of them? No. Will I get rid of some? Hopefully. Let's take this journey together. So, like I said, I brought my larger bags upstairs. I'm going to show you guys, um, and then I'm going to show you which, which ones I'm not going to keep. And I'm going to throw them in a basket here so I can wash them, the ones that can be washed because they smell kind of musty. Um, and then the ones that, like, really can't be washed and I'm just, like, need to give up. So here's the first bag. I'm obsessed with it. It does not giving it away. I just need to bring it from upstairs and use it. I definitely need to wash it. It's so gross. Yeah, I need to wash this one too. This one I got from Brazil. It's a backpack. It's like a drug rug backpack. I'm obsessed. Needs to be washed. This one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wash this one, but it kind of stinks. Spot clean only, so maybe I'll just spray it down with like a, one of those um, cleaning sprays. But this bag is so cute. Like, how can I give this away? I can't. I can't, guys. Another Monet bag. This is a gym bag. Um, this is about to be my new skate bag. My last one was stolen. Um, I'm going to wipe it down with bleach, though, because it's definitely a little moldy. Here's one of my favorite duffel bags that I have from Kipling. Obsessed with this bag. Definitely keeping it. It's definitely one of my favorite duffel bags. Keeping. Here's another Monet bag. This is really cute. It's like a nice computer bag. Um, this definitely needs to be wiped down. There's mold on it. Another bag that's super moldy. This one I might give away. Um, it's really cute though, so I have to think about it. I just touched the mold, so that's really gross. Here's another bag. It's like a duffel bag. I love this bag so much. Look how perfect it is. Like a weekender bag. Fits everything. Like, how can I give this away? This one... This one I could give away. Although it is really cute. No, no, I don't need it. This is perfect for, I don't need this, I don't need this. This one I can give away. This one I can give away. This bag is so good. This one I need to keep. This is great for like everything, like camping. Another bag, I could probably give this one away. Although the inside is super cute. This is what it looks like. This is cute, but I think I can give this away. This one I can give away. I'm not too obsessed with it. This one is another one I got in high school. Most of these I got in high school, actually. This is really cute for, like, actually in college, because I remember I used these in college. I have to think about this, because this is good to throw everything in, but do I need this? I have so many like this. I have to think about it. This is from the Mary Kate and Ashley line. Um, I'm definitely washing this one. It's like their boy line or something. Cute. Needs to be washed. The, all of these need to be wiped down with bleach or something because they have mold in them. Which sucks. Damn it. Look at this. This is a really nice bag. I need to keep this, but I just need to wipe it down i already i think in my at my fiance's house i'm going to have to pick one spot to put my larger bags and just stick one inside the other like that's the only way it's gonna work out here's another bag super gross with mold i don't want to throw it out though i think what i'm gonna do is bring these outside and um wipe them down so really gross okay here's another bag this bag is really cute and I would keep it, but the inside is coming apart and every time I put stuff in here, this black shit comes out like 
don't know if you guys can see but it gets everywhere it's so annoying and so i would have to like diy the inside and do i have time for that right now like like I don't have time for that. I don't. I can let go of this bag. Even though it is so cute. I love how thick the handles are. The bees are so cute. This is really hard. Maybe. Because I just I can't just let go of a bag that's so cute. There's another one on that list of bags that I used in college. I like this style because I could put my, like, my laptop in here and just whatever. And um, I looked kind of like fancy you know what I mean and another one this bag I used for um trips this is like a little mini suitcase final bag this wasn't in the box this I use actually regularly <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys this is one of my favorite bags that's it for my bag collection um so what I'm gonna do now is wash all the bags go through all of them and just decide which ones i'm gonna let go and then i'll come back and show you guys which i decide um i definitely have to go let go of some like i can't just keep all of them like i said even though i really want to i just don't have space and i don't need it i do not need it so really quickly i wanted to show you guys some more bags that i just found and forgot to show you i use this for the beach every time i go to the beach every time i go on vacation this is like my favorite bag ever. Here's another bag I found. Now this one stinks, so it definitely needs to be washed. And another thing is it has a hole on the bottom, although this plastic is like, this material is like still, you know, covering it in the sense that nothing will fall out. But do I need this bag? I've had it for literally like 10 years now. I just don't want to get rid of it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Maybe I'll wash it and then see how I feel. But as of right now, I feel like I still can't get rid of it, even though there's a huge hole in the bottom. I've so far made a bag with all the, the um, purses I need to hand wash and hand wipe with like bleach and like some products to get this, um, what's it called? Mold, mold, to get the mold off. And then I made another pile with um, textured and, um, what, what are they called? Cloth bags. That just took me five minutes. Cloth bags. So I just made another pile with cloth bags that could be put in the, the washing machine. And then here's some more that I forgot to show you. This one needs to be washed. Now, these bags may seem like ugly or like not as appealing. But I feel like what's appealing to me is how different they are. Like this, I would just throw everything in for like a quick sleepover. I just like, I just can't let see myself throwing these out. I'm going to wash this though because it definitely stinks. Here's another bag. This bag is super sentimental to me. It's like a little duffel bag. My grandma actually gave it to me. R.I.P. This is so cute. It definitely needs to be washed. It stinks. Another sentimental bag. I've had this bag since I was probably like 16, 15. Literally ripped. Don't care. We'll keep it. I just need to wash it. I'll probably make this my bag right now. Yeah, after I wash it, I'm going to use it. Here's a duffel bag. Can't get rid of it, literally. You see why. It's really juicy. Needs to be washed. It stinks. Another sentimental bag. I had this bag when I was a kid, when I was in like high school. This bag was everything to me might use it oh my god are you kidding me oh my god this bag brings me so many memories okay scratch that i wanted to use that colorful one but i think i'm gonna use this one instead i'm gonna wash it first last bag love 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 definitely needs to be washed it's a great duffel bag great for picnics too it's great for picnics so I have a pile of need to wash and I have a pile of need to wipe and I have a pile of not keeping. I've made the pile. Are you guys ready? Okay, here's one bag I'm going to let go of. 
this bag does not scream I need you to keep me so I'm gonna let go of it now this one is really hard for me to let go of because of the fact that I really like these straps um I want to keep it really badly um it's like super structural and like I may end up keeping it but I'm telling you right now I want to get rid of it because I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it another bag I'm getting rid of is this one another bag that's really hard for me to get rid of this one now I also love the straps I love the size I love how big it is, how easy it is to find things, how there's three compartments, one side to side and then one with a zipper in the middle. Love bags like that, super easy to find things. But the inside is just so frustrating because it like keeps like producing that little shit I showed you guys, like so annoying. I would have to DIY the whole thing. It's a whole project I don't have time for. Someone else will love this. I know they will. That's it guys, those are all the bags I'm not keeping. Let me also remind you the ones that I'm not keeping in like uh, smaller bags, like smaller bags I'm not keeping. Another reminder, this one and this one will not be keeping. So that's one, two, three, five bags, five bags. I'm very proud of myself. It doesn't seem like a lot, but um, considering I don't get rid of anything, including like boxes, like this is a really good, really big progress for me i'm really proud if i end up getting rid of more i will make another video like saying goodbye to the bags like this is a way to heal my relationship with things so that i don't have um a constant thought and fear that i will need it and if i don't have it like i'm gonna need it i'm gonna regret not having it so this is how i'm working on my issues by making these videos because i want to heal i want I want to get rid of these bags and then not be longing for them you know what i mean like i want to pass them on to someone who will love them and move on to something new like it's it's that time i need to i need to figure it out thank you so much for watching you guys this is the first video in a very long series i have so much to do um i've been doing categories on different things that i need to do um i probably will make more videos um so i might look like this in another video so that's there's your answer why because I have so much to do and not enough time. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!